The Ace of Spades is known as the death card. Nobody knows why it became associated with death, but most cultures believe that the Ace of Spades is a bad omen. Two young girls named Nicole and Tamara were sitting in their backyard one evening. They were passing their time playing cards at the garden table. It was getting dark and the moon was visible in the night sky. There was a forest and a swamp behind their house and the wind was blowing softly through the trees. The girls were both to start a new game when a tall man appeared from the darkness. Two girls had never seen the man before and he had came in shuffling through the long grass and approached them. They felt a little afraid. I see you two are playing cards, he said. The girls nodded. Mind if I join you, he asked. I could teach you a new game. Tamara shook her head. Her mother had always warned her not to talk to strangers. Besides, the man looked very creepy. But the other girl said, Okay, I suppose. It's kind of boring just playing with two people. Show us your new game. Tamara nudged her whisper in her ear. I don't want to play with him. Let's just go inside. Come on, laughed Nicole. Stop being such a baby. Stay here. Don't you want to learn a new card game? Reluctantly, Tamara agreed to stay. The tall man picked up a deck of cards and began shuffling them. I don't know if you'll like this game, he said, grinning broadly, but I know you will enjoy it immensely. He dealt with the cards. One of each the girls had said one to himself. Tamara's card slid off the table and fell face up on the ground. It was the Ace of Spades. When Tamara bent down to pick it up, she saw that the man wasn't wearing any shoes. His legs were long and hairy, and his toenails were curled. A chill went down her spine, holding the Ace of Spades in her hand. She began to feel very frightened. She began tugging at her friend's blouse and begging her to leave. Nicole refused and dismissed her with a wave of her hand. Tamara ran into the house and locked the door behind her. She scrambled up the stairs and into her bedroom. Grabbing her mobile phone, she called the police. When they arrived a few minutes later, Tamara answered the front door and led them out to the backyard. When they got to the table, they found Nicole's dead body laying underneath it. The poor girl had been torn in half. The chair was on which she had been sitting and was covered in blood. A note that had been placed on the table. It read, You were saved from death by the Ace of Spades. And that, my pretties, was Ace of Spades, a creepypasta. My final thoughts in this story? It's a really good one, I'll admit. It was a really great story. It's definitely well made in detail. It's definitely one of those pastas that I find to be really enjoyable and well made. It's a really good concept. I personally really liked it, despite the fact that it was a short one. Like, I mean, the man who ever he was appeared and he wanted to teach the girls a new card game. I mean, now that's when the Stranger Danger thing that, that Tamara remembers. But however, the other girl didn't seem to care. She just brushed it off. However, the other sister wasn't lucky as the man eventually murdered her by she was torn in half. Now, it's not unclear as to how that girl was managed to be ripped in two. Maybe some sort of demon did it or something, but we don't really know. And I don't know if Ace of Spades is known as the death card. I mean, that's probably just maybe some omen or myth or supernatural or spirit rid of evil or something, but that could be just me though, but I don't really know. But if you guys happen to know, let me know. The grammar was pretty good. I was able to read this without any problem. Um, I do wish there was an explanation as to how the girl was split in half. But like I said, though, um, maybe we could come up with the theory as to how that happened. Now, the sentence structure was pretty good as well as the storyline. Despite this being a short story, I still like this story. So, I guess with that being said... And that being the case, I'm going to sit here and just say right now that to the author of the story, if you happen to um, be, you know, the author of the story, if you ever stumble across this video, 
let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to give you proper credit once I find out who the offer is. So, anyways, with that being said and that being the case, I'll leave a link in the description for this story down below so you guys can go and have give this a read if you like. So, anyways, with that being said and that being the case, I'm going to sit here and just say this is just simply my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these creepy pastas, and this is just simply my own personal thoughts. I give this story a 9 out of 10, mainly because while it's a good story, I do wish we get an explanation as to how the other sister was torn in half. It's not really explained, but the man could have done it him. We know the man done it himself, most likely, while Tamara was, you know, getting the police involved. But I mean... You know, the other sister should have listened to Tamara and then she would have been safe. But I guess it it comes as that curiosity kills the cat. But other than that, this was a pretty good story. I mean, the only thing I really didn't care for that story, the story is so much. If I had to point out, it would have to be, it's not explained on how the other sister was torn in half. But the only thing we can come up with is furies as to how she died but like I said though this is just simply my own personal opinion and if you disagree with me that's fine too we're all in town strong opinions regards to these stories this is just simply my own personal thoughts I give this story a well oh yeah I already gave it the rating but if you guys didn't hear what the rating of this story is I give it a 9 out of 10 so, what did you guys personally think of this story? Did you like it? Did you not? Also, will we have done person help make this story a lot better? Feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And if, you, if you're if you brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you want to go... Check out my Twitter page. Link to my Twitter page will be in the About page section. If you also guys want to go check out my DeviantArt account, link to that will be in the About page section. So if you guys are interested, you can check that out. Also, I recommend you subscribe to my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo if you're interested because I do upload on that channel every now and then. So you guys will see new videos every now and then from that channel. So... I guess with that being said and that being the case, if I'm missing something that is not said in this story, let me know what it is in the comments below. I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace out and like always, roll the outro because I'm out.